Kyote. Is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen. Yes. Though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. Welcome to CCG. If you're new here, I'm Julie, this is Lyle, and we, we play, play games, games here. here. And aim to brand your day. Today, we're back into Final Fantasy 16. Let's do it! This could be one of the last couple episodes. Could be the last couple? Yeah, for sure. I can't believe we're almost done. The pluses. We have the pluses to do. And the reading one. The reading room. The reading table. <laughs> it's the something where you go and you sit down and there's words on paper. <laughs> there's this thing. <laughs> what has we? Oh, boy. Sir. I and the other Kirschbergers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest in her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance, if it is not too much trouble. I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Yes! And... There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Oh. I help you, Sid. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. We were just there. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? Aye. If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Fingers crossed. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Assuming she's still here. Doris! Just because the hell is going to wreck a room, it don't Doris? Doris? Have you seen Doris? No. Are you Doris? Let's get this stall set out. Girl could be anywhere. I don't know who Doris is. <laughs> Who's Doris? Are we supposed to talk to somebody? Because, like, I don't know who we're looking for. Is this is the so, yeah, we're just looking for Doris. Oh, oh, found Doris. It's been a pleasure, Doris. I don't know. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid. Oh, this lady. You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. Oh. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sanbrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Of course she did. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. There's treachery afoot. There's treachery. 
Oh, me. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris is. come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill How did you... Interesting. You're welcome to try. You're welcome to try. Yeah, how'd she know? Did we reveal ourselves or did she just sense us there? Because. Oh, there's some mage. Excuse me. Yeah, that's my first time. First order of business is the mage. Yeah, I don't know about you, but if I saw this, I'd probably be like, mm, maybe we go. Maybe I'm not powerful enough for this. Fighting at her feet, just standing there. Oh, there's another mage in here. Oh, level 36, too. Dang. Over here. Nice. No healing for you. Good job, Dora. We'll take a two of taking two of them out. Yeah. You Bess's boy. You could teach Bess's friend Gab something. Get him. <laughs> Alright, lady, what are you gonna say for yourself? So much for your escort. You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Is she coming on to us? Sid. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know. I always wondered where you'd vanished to, but casting your lot with this criminal of all people. I'm the criminal. For a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter. Can you thunder wave her off the cliff? And I did terrible things to earn her favor it wasn't all terrible surely we had our fun too jeez there's got to be a cliff around here somewhere there's a river by us there's a bridge and it's over troubled water hands. boom all my other children took either to the blade or to the books always either or but you proved yourself a master of both that's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. She's so smug. Mm hmm In the face of defeat, even. We're not we're not gonna She's gonna let her go. She said, do what you want with me. I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. I'll do it. And she no longer has friends in high places. Where's the cliff? The dame does though. Her connections at the Imperial Court oh. will see that justice is done. Oh, yeah, smart. 
if you're certain. All right, fine. I am. And thank you for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you oh, so she sent a message ahead of us. How did it get there before we did? Seriously. They'll be joining us in the hideaway Do they shortly. Have owls? Oh, Harry Potter's Potter's owls? Owls? Do they have pigeon messengers? We don't need to worry about Doris anymore. Cool, cool. I've been hoping as well. Cool. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So okay. the slaver we'd been chasing <laughs> all these months was her former master. Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sunbreak. Went quietly, or so we're told. Good. But she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. It can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. I suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Mm. Anyway, okay, thanks again, Sid. Compartmentalized. Curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Uh, let's go see what else is wrong with our uh, blacksmith. Oh, hopefully nothing. Our sad, sad blacksmith. He's so sad. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? No. About Dravosh. Blackthorn's old haunt. <gasps> with the oh, no. Well, anyway... The mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. Ooh. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Go figure. And the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Okay, They're let's do it. A few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon. The old place will be overrun. We got it. I told you. We got it. Let's go. I won't let that happen. Don't let that happen. Didn't think you would. I'm a big boy now. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. Yes. He'd only do something stupid. Yeah. You reckon we should tell him? No. No. It's better this way. Yeah. Well, I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. Bro's got enough things he needs to talk about with a the therapist. We don't want to add to it. Yeah, and we don't want another person running into the ether floods and dying. Oh, we just God. don't need that again. Theo, Theo yeah, right? Hell Nobody yeah. needs that. This moron. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. Oh, engineer. Ah, Sid. <laughs> just the man I was hoping to see. D d did you have a mo? I don't, don't have me. a mo. You need more bomb ash. Oh no, we still got plenty of that left. I'm good. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification okay. and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators. That's a lot of ours. Um, yeah. Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Tell Blackthorn and that. And the engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get mad out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. Okay, what do you need? Just uh, out with it, bro. Here, you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me? No, because I don't know what you want. <laughs> Sure, I'll help. What do you need? The hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. Now no, that was I don't trust so suspicious. Good stuff you need me to find. You've 
got a couple oh. of examples okay. here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Or fallen. Yeah, he's a beast. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. Hmm. But only three short mind, and we know exactly where they are. Oh, good, at least there's sure. one awesome. of Amber Way in that ruin that they call Lost Plume. And another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Oh, you want me to go to three different ruins? This is in the Empire. Oh. All right then. Man, this had better get me something good. I'll be keeping all my fingers you are and prevent you from doing main story stir. Yeah, and all of that could have been. Hey, can you go get us this stuff? This is what we need. <laughs> this place, this place, and this place. This is what we need. Can you go get them? Can you grab them for us? We need them for the smelter. For an unfortunate smelting, smelting accident. accident. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go here first. Get this one melted. Right. Fear not! Your lordship has arrived! For now at least. My lordship. Hey, August, what's up? Clive! You're here! Of course! You asked me to come here. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. Swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabojd turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw. I don't know what you're talking about. No idea. My name's uh, Lord Underhill. I am. <laughs> well, you could sneak off without me, did you? I'm just a merchant. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Blackthorn. Oh, August, was this you? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. <laughs> Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. Can we save this little bromance scuffle yeah. for a later? And let's kill some Akash. I ain't the whole of it. Oh, okay. Tell us everything then. <laughs> Our master didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our okay, master man. wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Travosht needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. That's fair. What you had to do was your duty. Mm. To that Even if it meant we all starved. Enough. This is no time for bickering. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Clive. Just beating each other up once Dravosh is Yes. Deal. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah, so have I. Good, let's go fight. Clive, I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. I'm short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo. Mo? Why did that suddenly just become a thing? I know. To bite it off. And the, cool, the kid saying that, you're just trying to be cool now? Okay, speak with August when you are ready. I'm ready, I don't know what else I have you to be ready for. Ready for the off then? Yeah. Ready for the off, let's go. Let's go. Can't waste any more time. We got so much to do, bro. So much to do. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. 
Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford, you and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the. A classic on the move. There we go. Let's get to it. How close are they? We're in sight of the walls, and there are more coming up from the mines. Yeah. What was I saying about nasty surprises? Let's go kill. They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good you idea. guys all just go in your homes and let me take care of it. Understood. I've got a tornado. I've got a tornado, yeah. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. Kisses. Oh, is right. I've seen what a Kashyyyk beast can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. And they don't have to. I'm here. As soon as I've left. I'm your legion. Give me as much time as I can. I'm a one-man army. <laughs> you evacuate. If they kill me? <laughs> I got plot armor. I promise. Seriously. <laughs> have you, you seen what I've done? Dragons, bro. Dragons. Get back. Leave it to me. Twice our level. Yeah. And dead. Give those things what for, yeah? Oh, what the? Whew. That's a scary big one. It is. All right. He's not going to go off in a tornado. Which one of you is first? In charge! Ah, but... Almost aired. Oh, I love it. Just boots him across the field. Sweet. Yeah. Nice try. Do you think the cash egg are still edible? Can we take it back to these things for the Oh, I wonder. Cook. This one. I love the try some cash egg meat. What if it turned you after you ate it? Maybe let someone else eat it first. Over here. Yeah. Best friend Gav. No, not best friend Gav. <laughs> Oh, we only got fucking a cash of Griffin, too. Oh, Jeez. good. Just goes charging in all majestically. Yeah. Good try, bud. Good try. Get him. Nice try. 
heavy damage on the fire. Yeah. Dang. Just annihilated his health bar. Is that it? Is that, is that it? Is that all you brought? Apparently not. Oh, that's not all. Is that a, what is that? A chimera? That's a chimera. Not getting past me. He's got more than fire. I believe he's got ice, fire, and something else. Right Damn. Each hand, I think, does something different. bananas. by the face. <laughs> the snout. <laughs> if that was it. He did. Famous last word, right? He was like, no. No, in fact, not. Ooh. Big cheese. Ouch. I thought you were totally going to get stuck by that. Never. <laughs> Only one time. I learned. <laughs> Up the butt. It worked. It always does. That must be what the lightning is. Ooh, I didn't even see that. That's gay, he's almost staggered anyway. Any. Or it didn't look like Hatchet. Maybe it was, but. You just hit it well. Man it alive! Well. You're still in one piece! I slow as many as I could. Why is he surprised? As many as I could, he said. We took on Bahamut. Like well, almost. Yeah. Only almost. We're not gonna discuss Odin. Yeah, Garuda. Sneak over the wall, but we got the Odin didn't have to. I don't care what they say. But, but you do know. More will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Mm. 
Sid. <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. That's Enough not to give those about. Akashic hmm. monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry. You've heard about my trainings as a merchant. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravarts won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. Yeah, cool. With the ether flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more Yeah, I guess so, but like... It's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. Get to higher ground, you fool. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravos needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. There's a lot of tension going on here. Yeah. It's already right, you shouldn't. <clears throat> Though I doubt I'd have listened. All this Maybe if they just held hands. Oh, you made everything look so easy. Field of <laughs> Did anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy, even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day, because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. If the average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot, come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. Um, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. Thank you. Mm -mm. And even them. fellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. I don't care if you did accept, I'm going to let you go. I will chain you to your forge, sir. Yeah. Get out the handcuffs. Yeah. And not in the fun way. No. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion. We're caught. We'll be right next to that forge. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in. It's going to get real sweaty. Not in a fun way. <laughs> You're gonna do a lot of hammering, not in the fun way. <laughs> Blackthorn, the master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Let's go. Or not. Sid, I've got something for you. Do you? What is it? Gotta be legendary, I swear. Is it a patch? Oh, it's oh. A patch. Man, I don't want the whole collection. Oh. Lost in gratitude. But I want a legendary item, thank you. Oh, Where am I gonna put all these patches? I'm not putting it on this Design on this armor. Do you, you see, see this? this? You see this? I'm not putting it on this. Or maybe I'll put it on Jill's. Don't mind. Now hold on, Sultan. Maybe like she's wearing my uh, no made up late in centuries. Uh, letterman jacket. Yeah. Being a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive still, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But we're not talking about Odin. Yeah, that's that's a poor subject right now, Blackthorn. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravosht in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring. I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs, so I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork between the two of us. 
I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Okay, we have to go far for this one, so hopefully it's just a battle up here and then we're in the next one. Did you see that sand? Yeah, it was falling from the, the... Oh, it was falling down? Yeah. Oh, it looked like it was shooting up when I saw it. Oh, I don't want to see that. I'll need to deal with oh, these good. first. Hey, guys. So uh, I'm just going to need you all to come over here. Yep, this way. This way, thank you. Come in. Hey! Rude. Heckin' unnecessary. I was being nice. Oh, some of them left. Oh, no, I got too far away from the area. Wasted my time. I will still never get over the bombs that were bath bombs. That was so funny. We had a perfect time to launch them all off that cliff. I wish we could do that in the game. But we would lose the stuff they were trying to get from them. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> okay, Batman. That was very Christian. Mm -hmm. Batman and Bane. Right. Team me up. Team me up, yeah. Now to find this spherical echo. What did he say? I didn't. I missed it. So did I. Oh, I guess that's it. So it's still over here. Is there anything missing on the ground? Maybe? Oh, right oh, there. There it is. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! Choo! Mm. Oh, that's far away. Okay. All right, Bane Brosia. This is no time to ride. <whistles> oh, Let's I got go. it this time. <laughs> Fly, Ambrosia. You merely adopted the dog. <laughs> I was born in it, molded by it. I make that joke because I've seen the clip, but I've never seen the movie. Ah, <sighs> y'all can shake your heads in shame. It's okay. Every movie, I guarantee you. If you're like, hey, have you seen this movie? Chances are, no. No, didn't have anything to do with Doctor Who. She didn't see it. That's true. Or the Winchester boys. That too. It's a shame, y'all. It's a shame. I'm working on it, but she's not working with me. I did see the first, um, the first Batman with Heath Ledger. That was such a good movie. It was, it was pretty good. It's not one I'd ever watch again. Like uh. I'm just. I'm just not really into it. Straight home now. You know what? You know what? Come here. Come here. All, no, all of you come here. Hey, everybody. Come here. Ah! Ew. 
we'll just watch them. You guys have fun. Just move over here and I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do it yet. Hey! Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, he's in it. Cry cliff. This is what it sounds like when hawks cry. What? Well, watch out, dude. I'm bringing some people or some bad guys around. <laughs> He needs to get away from the from the, I can walk from from here. the ether flood. Oh yeah, that makes sense. He couldn't go through the ether. How he gets to you on the other side, I don't know. Yeah, really. Flies over it, maybe. Can you fly? Whoa, Chocobo! Oh, no. Is that our Chocobo? I hope not. That would be horrible. Whoops, did I do that? Wouldn't it be if we got back on? We're like, hey, we only have one Chocobo. Josh was just running behind us. Oh, maybe so sad. Okay. Let's go. No, no chocobo. This was a town that had people in it. This was a town that had people in it. Oh, that's horrible. That's really bad. We came through this town. We talked. They were nice people, but we talked to the people in this town. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That sucks. Yeah, they weren't great to talk to, but they were still people. They were still people. And they were alive. They tried to talk to us while we went through with their blades, so... Nothing's changed. Nope. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is when we were looking for a clue on Joshua. Yeah. It's kind of cool that these uh, that these missions are dragging, are kind of taking us all back to these places that we were at in the beginning. Get him. Almost like just everything's coming full circle. This one. Oh, not spinny blades. Almost died. We were like this much Ooh. health left. So close. Oh, that was a lot of lightning. Looks like it had an eyeball in it. Did you see it? <laughs> nice. No. damage though yeah you can't get rid of that that fire damage does so much damage to, like everybody it's oh, so rare in place with somebody else that does just as much surely Bahamas got some probably um I would really love to see you go in with um Shiva um Sid's Romeo and uh, free. Garuda!
love that one. Climb down that lightning. It's so cool. That was a sad finish. That really was a sad finish for all that. Yeah. All that hype. Just like, ugh. Okay, good. <laughs> it's over. There we go. Back to the hideaway. For what might be the last side quest. <gasps> Could be. We're close. Yeah. That felt like the goodbye tour. That did. It really did. With all the side quests and for everyone last time, and now all these like pluses here. Yep. It really does feel like it's the end. Oh, no hunts have come up. That's main mission. Just gotta go talk to Blackthorn. Yeah, I'm saving that for last. I don't know who this Owain character is. He can go first. Yeah, he's just the one that's been building stuff. He's the one that we had to go get. Stuff for mid. Yeah, that ash that we had to go collect. Canva in the hands of Akashic. <coughs> ah, Sid. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. Really? So. Glad to surpass your expectations. Good Bob. Good, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! Oof. I'll be into the smelter right away! You do that. I feel like he needs some scars. Somebody ask him how he got these scars. So that's about the energy we're getting, <laughs> isn't it? Yep. It's all coming up, Batman. <laughs> To you, the Telemon Furnace in Fadishi. That's pretty cool. She's a beauty. I'll give him that. You saved my beacon again, Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. Cool. What'd you get me? It's, it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. Are you sure your bag's flexible. But yeah, you could just. Buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room. You keep your hands off my belt. And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal? Stretchy metal. It's <laughs> stretchy metal. Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You'll love it. I promise. This guy. He has a lot. He has a lot. As an introvert, all that energy coming at me is too much, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I am tired now because of you. <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. How's your sack feel? Flexible. You earned it. And I want Stretch your to... flexible and secure now. Anyway. <laughs> Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Yeah, well, yeah. Even out there, too. One day, the whole world's going to know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. One can hope. Hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. When they see my bag. At this point, I'm pretty sure the whole planet's just gonna collapse. <laughs> so all I've ever used really is potions. Never needed anything else. This. Oh, nope. Rebus added the story for Excuse me. Excuse me. You could have gone around, but pushing through their conversation was more important. Absolutely. I gotta go see Blackthorn. This is important. Child's out of the way. Why are you out here having school anyway? Get inside. <laughs> but I am learning. In my way. All right. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. Which sword is it? Make us a cool one. We'll be using his level work for the grip. 
The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles, that'll be what gives the blade its edge. Come on, let it be cool. The final flourish will be my talented colleague's engraving. I do love filigree. <laughs> by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows of this the then. exact same. Yep. Yeah. You're only at each other's throats because you're so similar. <laughs> because you are meant to be brothers. Yeah. Or lovers. One of the two. Close enough. Call me, call me. <laughs> well, bugger me. We actually did it. <laughs> we actually did it. That's funny. <gasps> it's so pretty! Oh, oh. my. Oh, my. Oh, what's so nice. Ragnarok! Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Mmm. Quite something. Is that all you have to say about it? It's quite something? It's, it's quite something. That's it? That's it? Come on. Don't be humble. Thank you. Let it out. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Drabost. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than this the Ragnarok. Gonna it. We're going to get something else. It's going to be something better than Ragnarok? Like this, uh, Watch, it's called Fenrir. Like you leave this list with me. Be cool, though. That'd I was sweet. hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Oh. Everything's wrapping up. There's Josh, there's Jill, there's oh, Mid, Maria. Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You, you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnaby. <laughs> Ask Clive about that. He's felt it twice. Sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just, I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, Perhaps, uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. this place <gasps> don't move
Oh, bless her heart. Here, it's fresh from the well. I hope this girl's like the next Jedi or something, like the next wave of Jedi. Hope she has some like massive importance, cause holy crap. Yeah. She's been focused on so much. Yeah. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. <laughs> Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Does she live on her own? Looks that way, yeah. Damn. <sighs> this girl better be set for greatness. <gasps> make her your battle You're garden, then. Yeah, train her. Take her with you. Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Oh. Okay, Clavery took your wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few. <laughs> But I doubt they'll stop you. Poor Tarya, just nobody listens to her. Yeah, she's like, just sit down, please. Lady Tarya. Set on leaving already, are ya? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. All right, let's get this done. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, yeah. don't you? I do. Hey, Hans! Ah, there we go. <laughs> we just had to advance the story a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, what we got? Give me everything. One. Oh, one, okay. 
the Tricephalic Terror. A caravan of traders traversing the Valkyrie told me of a colossal beast they had encountered on their journey. To hear them tell it, it had the aspect of a dragon, a lion, and a scorpion all at once. I could test that it might be naught but a mirage, a phantasm brought by the desert heat. But the sweat rich, which ran down their foreheads was cold, and the fear in their eyes real. And it's unknown location. Okay, so, the Valkyrie. Valkyrie Desert. Ooh! The blues. Oh, they're red. The red. But apparently the red ones are rare. Well, why can't I catch one then? Because we got Ambrosia. She's the rarest of all. Bane Brosia. Bane Brosia. There's supposed to be a waterfall here? I thought that's what you said when you were reading. Oh, hey, what's that? That what's might that? be it. Looks Another, like a chimera. So I kind of really thought it would be. We'll see. Yeah, it's scorpion tail. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly what it is. There we go. Gorgamira. Rain guess. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, okay. I didn't, uh, rain guess. I didn't buy some more uh, high potions, so. Oh, holy crap. <gasps> what was that? That was incredible. Careful there, Torval. There's some Aisha Kosh. Do you by chance have a stained loincloth on you? Could you imagine? What kind of person got close enough to the Chimera to put a, a, a loincloth on it to begin with, or did you eat it? Like, what's... <laughs> we'll assume he ate it. We'll assume he ate it, yeah. Should have been something we were learning from the beginning, but like you don't parry. Hey, parry. Never. Never. You know what? He's got some fun. Oh, I dodged it. I don't know how. That was amazing. Come on, yeah, a lot harder than this, dude. Yeah, probably even, probably at least one more stagger, and then. Nice 
Oh, now he's just unleashing fire. A little bit. A little peeved. He's all angry. He's all angry. That's it. Too great. Oh, Steve Irwin would say. Oh, got you there. Get him. Come here. Oh, I tried to dodge. On silent. <laughs> oh. You almost died. That was really close. So there we go. Nice. That was a good one. It's a good ending. Should have picked on someone your own I think it was the belt. It's like the... No, the belt needed some uh, stone to something. We're gonna get another map update. Vivian, darling. Oh, hey, Min. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Oh, Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. <laughs> oh, Min. I'm not here for Min. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready. We'll be setting out for Drake's spine, and we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship run to shit and splinters. If it were that Fair. easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. If your life depended on it, Vivian, to make it happen. To yeah. Pay for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. <laughs> all right, all right. I think got if it will splinters. get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? You got it. Barnabas Tharn, the one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later. Quite untouched by time. Cool. Walud's recent inaction right. left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for man. war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. 
Ulud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say north of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. <laughs> Who would that be? You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a For some reason, I thought they were going to turn around she was going to be gone. <laughs> she just walked off. I wonder what Tired of this. intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid. I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Joshua. I have no reason to assume. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman. Tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. Kay. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. Mm -hmm. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Mm -hmm. now, me too. However, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to put yeah. it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. On the double. Chop chop. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise. No, you cannot. It is going to sink after this battle. I hope not. <laughs> best friend, yeah. Where's, where's best bud, Daryl? Probably hanging out with the kids. My apologies. By now, you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details. Only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention, as well as slow our march 
and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. Jill's not gonna be happy. Scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. <laughs> Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. <laughs> Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You ought to stop anyone boarding. Okay. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. That's fair. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions... Joshua. I'll see you all at the docks. Anything else you want to reveal? You want to tell us the secrets you've been keeping? Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Do you have a bunch of goods that can help me make weapons? No. That'd be sick. That'd be great. No? Oh, the target's gonna stay. Please, Lord Oh, it's your day. My Lord Mark. Oh. Yote. Is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen. Yes. Though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Nah. Good. <laughs> Screw Joshua! <laughs> Maybe if he tells us what he knows he's not telling us. Yeah. I'll do this if. <laughs> Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord, Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients.